Hello and welcome to the next video in the series of setting things up from scratch. For this video, I'll be covering the coordinator. So to get started, just like with everything else, I'm going to take an advanced computer here. And then again, as with everything else, I'm going to get an Ender modem on it. However, this has a lot of other components from computer craft. So we're going to use advanced monitors, wired modems, and the speaker. Depending on how you have this, you might not have all of these things. You definitely will need to have advanced monitors and a speaker. But if you, I guess, touch everything against the computer, you won't need the wired modems. So first I'm going to get a wired modem on the computer, and then I'm going to start placing things out. So to get started placing the main monitor, I know that, per the wiki, two reactors with one boiler and turbine each needs a main monitor that is only four units high, and same with the flow monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and make that monitor. So now that I have my main monitor, I'm going to go ahead and make my unit monitors, which are always 4x4. Four four. It's the first one, and then I'll make the second over here. And then the flow monitor, which I'm also going to make 8 wide by 4 high. There we go, so that is all the monitors that I'm gonna need. We got unit one, unit two, the main, and the flow view. So lastly is the speaker, which I'm going to place down here. You're gonna want it to be somewhat close, but it doesn't need to be visible. I'm gonna put it down here, get a wired modem on it. So now I'm gonna go put modems on the other monitors. The main view monitor is directly touching the computer, so I don't need it to get a modem, but for the rest I will. Let me go over here, unit one, give it a modem. Let's turn on night vision to make it more clear. There, modem. Over here. Wired modem on the flow monitor. And a wired modem on the unit 2 monitor. Now I need to get all this stuff connected. So I'm going to place some network cables between all these modems. So now with all those cables placed, I'm going to connect all the devices. So make sure to right click this so the speaker's connected. Right click this so monitor 5 is what my unit 1 monitor is going to be. Over here, monitor 6 is going to be my flow monitor. Over here, monitor 7 is going to be the unit 2 monitor. So lastly for the computer, you don't need to worry about right clicking this because the computer is the one accessing other stuff, not the other way around. And just like with everything else, I'm going to get started with paste bin command to grab CCMSI and then use that to install the coordinator. So just like with all the other apps, you can either launch configure right away or you can use startup and that'll automatically call configure since I don't have any configuration and do that. Same old, same old here. Configure system, same thing with the channels, I left them all default. My supervisor, coordinator, and pocket channels. So timeouts covered in the coordinator configurator video. Generally, I'll leave these as default, same with trusted range. Gives a little bit of details here if you want to change this. Then the facility authentication key, which I'm not using for this build. And now is this feature here where it lets you connect to the supervisor and grab all the useful information. So when I do this, see it connected. If you have any issues here, um, it might be indicative that maybe you do have a facility authentication key or you're using a trusted range. Just all the other things that may happen with just general failure to connect, which is listed all on the wiki if you need help there. And I'll try to give some info here. And of course, if your supervisor's not running, this won't work either. If it fails or if you wait long enough, like so, you can skip this and manually enter the information which basically consists of the number of reactors, but by skipping this, it's not going to know for sure the monitor dimensions. So you'll see here, it's probably at least four tall, but it might not be depending on the cooling configuration. But since I can connect to the supervisor, I know for sure that a facility with two reactor units, each has one boiler and turbine, 
So now I can know for sure that it needs to be at least four tall. So here I have two units, so that's gonna be two unit view monitors, four by four as I created. And both of these are eight by four. So that looks all good. And here, I'm gonna start assigning them. So left we know is the monitor that is directly touching the computer on the left. So I know that's my main monitor there. I'm gonna apply that. And then back here, see right there? It says, this is monitor, monitor six. And as this one, you would have seen, this is monitor left. So here, monitor six is the flow monitor. You can also see the eight by four there. Since I already assigned a main monitor, it's gonna automatically jump to flow monitor. Apply that. Lastly, my two unit monitors. So unit one is gonna be monitor five. Here, one, apply. And over here, monitor seven is gonna be unit two, right there. So now everything's assigned. It's telling me what the assignments are. You can continue here. And the speaker volume, this is just a little option in computer craft. Generally, just leave it at one. But if you wanna blast the audio really loud, then, then go ahead. Now here's some UI options, so default 24 hour clock, and then temperature scale, I like Kelvin, you can leave it at that, but you can pick any of these other ones. These ones will have little degree signs in front of them, whereas Kelvin's just going to be a K. And then over here, energy scale, you can go between joules, FE and RF. FE and RF are going to be the same number, just a different label. So I like doing it in FE. Over here, same logging stuff as with everything else. Over here, UI themes. Okay, lastly, a little summary. I'm gonna apply this. Exit, and since I ran it with startup, I'm gonna get startup right away. And there we go. So now that this is connected, I can see that I'm missing a lot of devices, which of course, since I haven't done the RTU setup yet, and I will do that after this video. Here on the supervisor, and I can now see coordinators linked. So to demonstrate one of the issues that some people run into when they add another reactor, I have updated the supervisor to have three units. The coordinator still thinks it only has two, so I get this supervisor unit count does not match coordinator unit count check configs message. So what you would do here is since the coordinator only has two monitors for the two units, you'd have to add another monitor, connect that to the computer, and then you'd go in here and configure, go through all those steps. You'd resync with the supervisor to get that data. It would say that there's three units. Then you'd move here and then you'd see your monitor that's unused, assign that to unit three, and then you move on. It's so basically all you'd have to do to fix that. Once you're done, it would start up and it would be all set. So that's all I have for today. Next will be the RTU setup guide, and then a couple of videos about how to use the system. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.